Hey everyone, PJ here. And not to sound like creep show art or anything, but I am absolutely livid right now. For those of you that don't know, Lil Tay has allegedly passed away at the age of 14. Or at least that's what people are saying. There's a lot of sketchy stuff in the situation. Personally, I think a lot of the evidence seems more or less anecdotal. But I honestly wouldn't be surprised if her parents faked her death for attention. Especially given how abusive they were to her and her brother. Honestly, given that Lil Tay's parents not only abused her off-camera, but also exploited her for internet clout. Like I said in the Colleen Ballinger video, how do these people sleep at night? But if that's true, then there's no other word I can use to describe this other than tragic. But I'm not here to capitalize on someone's death, especially the death of a 14-year-old. I'm here to talk about her previous manager, Harry Sang, who recently made a video addressing Lil Tay's supposed passing. Lil Tay really passed away. I'm going to share the information I have obtained so far. My name is Harry Sang. I was the last known manager of Little Tay. Also, I have been in some of her videos before. Be careful, be terrified. Mm. Oh, God damn it, what the hell? At approximately 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Little Tay's family had released an official statement announcing her passing as well as the passing of her brother. Subsequently to this announcement, I have engaged in conversation with individuals who maintain a close connection with the family and I was told they cannot talk about the event that occurred nor any current affair. In my pursuit to comprehensive this information, I also engaged my personal psychic who shared insight from her guardian angels suggesting that the initial news may not be entirely accurate. At this point, I cannot confirm or deny the legitimacy of the statement released by the family but I will keep you all updated. I'm bringing this guy up for a reason. Now, not even a day after Lil Tay was pronounced dead, some asshole had the audacity to release a shitcoin with a gotcha life avatar as Lil Tay with her name attached to it, essentially profiting off the supposed death of a 14-year-old girl. And remember Harry Sang, the guy I literally just brought up? He's the one behind this! Lil Tay Token also has an official Twitter account, and on this account are these lovely posts. Just in! Microsoft to explore digital payments and central bank digital currencies. It's coming, and we hope everyone who's here now will be ready. If you'd also want respect for something like this, you would not talk about money. Nobody said anything about money come from a Twitter account whose whole purpose is to peddle a shitcoin. I don't think that's a good enough excuse. Not now, please. This isn't the time. We're waiting for him to reach her father, and we expect random comments. What is this person even talking about? I swear, this girl's mother's a piece of shit, her father's a piece of shit, her manager's a piece of shit. Everyone in this girl's life is the absolute epitome of human garbage. The absolute lowest of the low. The bottom of the bottom of society. Graham Graydog wasn't lying when he said the internet is full of vultures. Like I said, not even 24 hours after this girl is pronounced dead, this piece of human filth creates a shitcoin with her f name attached to it. Regardless if Lil Tay's alive or dead, this piece of shit is still exploiting a 14-year-old girl for monetary gain. I already hated cryptocurrency to begin with, but I sincerely hope this shitcoin bombs harder than Osama Bin Laden, because this is on par with those fucks who make NFTs of recently deceased celebrities. Harry's saying, if you're watching this, then make like Yandere Dev and go stick your dick in a fucking hornet's nest. That can be your new jock strap. Same goes for the parents who approve of this shit. It seriously pisses me off to no end that there are children like Lil Tay in this world who get exploited by their disgraces of parents and will probably never get their happy ending. I'm sorry to get all worked up about this, but if you have the nerve to look at your own flesh and blood child and see nothing but a fucking dollar sign, you don't deserve to even call yourself a parent. Let's just wrap this shit up before I end up having a stroke. So anyway, as always, don't just take my word at face value. I strongly encourage you to do your own research on this topic and come to your own conclusion. And as always, my name is PJ, and I'm gonna go get ice cream. Quick update. At the time of me writing the script for this video, Lil Tay was just confirmed to be alive and well. Personally, I don't think this makes the situation any less loathsome since her parents created a death hoax in order to push a shit coin. But yeah, I just thought I'd fill you in on this. And honestly, I wish nothing but the best for Tay and her brother. I honestly hope they can both move on from this situation and get the happy ending that they deserve. Alright, on with the outro. You ain't never
never gonna slow me down Cause I feel alive now